What's going on, y'all? This is Huggy Pacino back with another video. South Florida pastor accused of raping two girls. Junior Belchers, 54, turns himself in to authorities. All right. Miami Dade County. South Florida pastor was arrested Thursday on accusations that he raped two girls in his home in Miami Dade County, according to the said. Union Beltrez, 54, who lives in South Florida, but is a citizen of the Dominican Republic, faces two counts of sexual battery on minor on a minor. According to an arrest report, both victims, ages 9 and 10, told authorities on July the 1st that Beltrez had raped them at the home in the 300 block of Northeast, 118th Terrace. Beltrez is a pastor at the Calumas de Fuego. Is that how you say that? Evangelist Church, where a few par parish parishioners said on Friday night that they were standing by him. Wow. Can 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 can, can friendship be that deep? <laughs> can can a relationship last that day long? Can, can that be that strong that these people in this congregation are still standing by him? They're not even questioning the idea that. Yo, let's just at least step back to see if this is true. Anyway, we want our pastor to know that we support him, that we're praying for him, and that the church will not stop because of what is happening. Rigo Borto, Pinilas, I think I find this on the phone, like that. A church parish. All right, said in Spanish. Miami-Dade police said that the 10-year-old victim told detectives Beltris raped her several times around May in his bedroom in front of the younger girl. The child also told police Beltris forced her to perform oral sex on him. According to the arrest report, the nine-year-old victim told Detective Beltris had raped her several times in June inside his bedroom in front of the older girl. All right. Police said the nine-year-old girl told Detective Beltris also touched her breast with his mouth and his hand. The arrest report stated that Beltris surrendered to authorities Thursday when his attorney present and invoked his right to remain silent. He appeared in court Friday and was ordered held without bond. All right. Let's get, let's get an actual, you know, story here. Let's play this right quick. Arrest accused of an unholy act. Police say he repeatedly raped two young girls, but despite the allegations, some parishioners are standing behind their pastor. Local 10 News reporter Louis Aguirre is live outside the Miami church with the disturbing details. Louis. And Nicole Calvin, uh, services at the columns of Fire Church, Columas de Fuego, actually happened tonight. And the parishioners we spoke with said, despite the disturbing allegations against their pastor, they have his back. An eerie calm before the Friday night service at the Columnas de Fuego Church at this strip mall in Northwest Miami. The faithful had heard the news. Their pastor, Junior Beltres, had been arrested, accused of sexually assaulting two young girls. No, we don't believe these things and cannot say that they are true. I called Mr. Junior Beltres on page 7. pastor did not say one word in court. The judge denied him bond as he faced charges that he raped two little girls. One child was 10 years old, and one child was 9 years old. The police report details what the girls say happened last July, when Beltres allegedly forced himself on both of them several times and made them perform sex acts on him. Both say at least one time they were in the same room as each was assaulted, all of it allegedly happening inside this Northeast State home. We went by Friday night. But no one wanted to speak. Meantime, this congregation appears to be standing by him for now. We want our pastor to know that we support him, that we're praying for him, and that the church will not stop because of what has happened. Hmm. And the parishioners we spoke with say they're not saying the girls are lying. They're just saying the whole story isn't out there yet. Police say they have the evidence to back up the girls' claims or not say how the girls know each other or how the pastor Hmm. Live, Miami, Louis Aguirre, local 10 okay. Yeah, that's strange. 
Very strange. He goes his uh, court appearance here. Glad that ad isn't playing. Skip. Okay, what the hell? Here we go. Safety alert, a religious community rocked after word their pastor was arrested for allegedly sexually assaulting two young girls. Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg is live with the disturbing details. Glenna. Nicole, the church is locked at the moment. You can see it's closed and it's pastor. Junior Belvedis is in jail, no bond. All the result of the stories of two little girls and a few months of police investigation collecting the evidence to back them. The pastor posts his preaching at his church called Columnas de Fuego, Columns of Fire. I call Mr. Junior Beltres on page 7. Not one word though today in the courtroom where the judge denied him bond as Junior Beltres faced charges he raped two little girls. One child was 10 years old and one child was 9 years old. The police report recounts what the girls told them happened last July in specific detail. Sex acts, rape, and several times. They both say on at least one occasion they were in the same room as each was assaulted. The girls say it happened in the pastor's bedroom at his Northeast State home where he lives with his wife, a house lined with kids' bicycles and toys. The air was on and so was a prayer program inside, but no answer. One sees the face, but you don't see what they do outside from this owner of the restaurant downstairs. He prayed for me for a few times. People at the businesses neighboring the storefront church are just learning of the pastor's arrest. Wow, that's, I saw kids also there, but uh, it's coming with the parents. Whether it is in this church, whether it was in the neighborhood, maybe someplace else right now, it is unclear how they'll best do these little girls whose trust he is now accused of betraying. My thing with this is that it is September, this arrest happened September the 13th, all right? So let's say, let's get the proper time frame here. Uh, according to the arrest report, both victims aged 9 and 10 told authorities on July the 1st. All right, so July, August, September, so it's two months ago. Um, apparently they had to tell their parents and then the parents told the police, uh, why were these girls in his home? It's beyond me. Uh, they don't know how these girls became anything, like how did he meet them? Were they a part of the church? Were the female, were the mothers a part of the church? Um, were they giving up their daughters in general? Like, what's going on here? I'm not making no excuses for the guy. I think he should burn in hell if he's convicted for this shit. But I will say this. Where are the parents? Why was there no information about the parents? Because I'm pretty sure these 9 and 10 year old girls have fuck parents, fathers or mothers, grandmothers, something. Like, what's the connection here? So what we'll do is we're gonna keep our eyes on this and eventually we'll find out Later on, what's going on here? I'm going to keep it like that. Thank y'all for tuning in. Tell me what you think. Peace. Hmm. Now that's a lucky Pacino certified. Chicken and corn. Yeah, business, business.